we've regressed in the four C's is that fear, stress, and politics have fragmented our views of reality so we can't get on the same page. I found an analogy from photography to be helpful in understanding how this works. Our pages are made up of frames, filters, and focus. I had a picture on the wall of my office of the moon rising over the ocean, and I would show it to people and say, there could be a boat over here, but we don't see it. There could be someone drowning here, but we don't see it because this frame limits our view of that scene, just like our frames limit our view of reality based on our experiences and beliefs. The filter is the emotional component. It's what's in our hearts. It colors our experience. Defensiveness doesn't see love. Fear doesn't see opportunity. Judgment doesn't see potential. Focus is what we pay attention to. At any given moment, it's all that we see. We have evolved in an atmosphere of fear, stress, and tension that shrinks our frames to what keeps us safe, darkens our filters to keep us from being hurt, fixes and scatters our focus so that all we see are threats and problems. We can re-evolve by expanding our frames, clearing our filters, adapting our focus so we understand how others see the world. It requires balance and courage, but it's not all that difficult. Think of fear and tension as water between two walls. We respond to the pressure by making the wall stronger. That increases the pressure even more. Okay? The solution, take down one wall. You do that by applying what I call the four components of clear vision. There's no more pressure. Over time, this wall comes down. I have worked with people who have killed other humans, who have molested children. I've listened to their descriptions of experiences that shrunk their frames and closed their hearts, making it possible for them to commit these acts. Yet I've never failed to see a basic goodness that I believe is at the core of every human being. We could re-evolve by having the courage to see clearly with an open heart so that we see the best in people. We can create one big page where each citizen can contribute to building healthy and sustainable communities. Thank you. Thank you.